Hi everyone, it's Charlene and I am back with another unboxing video for the rag shop. So I'm very, very excited about this order because when I put it all in my basket, I realized just how lovely it looked together. I mean, look at those colors, aren't they beautiful? I think this probably sums up my color palette for the summer. Um, definitely the greens and pinks. The only thing missing here is lilac really. Um, but yeah, I am just so excited about these fabrics and getting to use them. So I'll start straight in. <clears throat> okay, so first one we have, after many interruptions, um, which I've edited out, the, this is a mustard gingham visco chalet so unfortunately it is sold out right now i'll pop down below if we are going to get it back in stock it's pigeon wishes fabric so we might be um able to get it back in but i will be making um we do have a blue and a pink dead stock visco chalet in stock as well so i will link them down below um as alternatives but it's it's so soft and drapey and it's a really really lovely quality and i'm still debating if like ginghams or mustards and yellows are really my colour but I just love this so much and I thought well there's enough white in it probably to kind of tone down the yellow and yeah I just I just loved it so I thought I think it'll be lovely during the summer and um, so I'm thinking of either making the Paradise Patterns Halon dress so this one here I'll put a better picture in <clears throat> so it has like a scooped back um, and high neck with like really thin shoulder straps and it either has a version with a side slit with no ruffle or a fuller version which has a ruffle at the bottom i might be leaning towards the ruffle version um so yeah i'm not too sure it's either that or i do like the idea of the trend patterns square dress and um, i'll pop the picture in of it as well i would really love to make it again or max Max has a new squeaky toy. Um, um, so yes, it is going to be some sort of sleeveless summer dress. Then next up, so, is a bamboo viscose jersey in blush, I think it is. Um, I have three other colours in this fabric already. And I'm planning to make probably the same t-shirt in all of them. So I have black, white and um, sage. And I just love it. I really love it. So I will be making at least two more of these tyra tees in it. Um, I just think they're just such a great basic. And they tie in with all my bottoms, all the colours that I'm making. I got a wee bit extra of this one. I had got a metre of the other ones. X. Don't pull that down again. Um, I got a wee bit extra of this one because I'll probably make Emily something in this as well. Or I might even just make a few wee pairs. I'm going to try and make her a few wee pairs of shorts as well. Like wee cycle shorts sort of things. From the remnants of the other ones too. Just for wearing under her dresses during the summer. Because when she's at the park and stuff. it's She needs a wee short so. Her, her legs will get burnt. But yeah. I just I love this colour in it. Um, Steph actually described it as sort of like a ballerina pink. Which nearly just sold it for me. Because Emily has started ballet lessons. So um, yeah. And I just I love that colour. So yes. Yeah, definitely something for me and Emily out of this one. Um, and yeah. Just another great basic. That will go with everything that I have. Um, then the next one here. Is another Pigeon Wishes fabric and i debated for so long if i should get it because i couldn't think of what i was going to make with it and i'm still not 100 percent sure what i'm going to make with it but it is a so a rustic sage um gingham and it's like a brushed cotton so it's not super brushed it's not like a flannel but it does have that really soft texture on one side of it and then smoother on the back um i think my options could be a or a dress by Paper Cut Patterns, which I do have printed, um, or a Lennox jumpsuit by Homer and Howells. Um, I think at the moment, or maybe a Zadie, I'm making another Zadie at the moment, and I have a cutout in the Chartreuse Lyocell twill, which was in my last video, I think, um, my last fabric haul, which I'll link down below as well in case you missed it. Um, so yeah, um, one of them or i mean 
I don't particularly want to make pyjamas in it because I think it's too nice a fabric but it would be amazing pyjamas as well it'd just be so soft and comfy but I just yeah it's absolutely gorgeous um even a, a gathered skirt or a dress with a gathered skirt would be lovely or because it's cotton it should hold a wee bit although it's quite a soft cotton um it might hold a wee bit of structure and like a gathered sleeve but I think I have three meters in this because I wasn't sure what I was going to make so I wanted to make sure I had enough options so I might even be able to get like a wee Gilbert top or something out of it as well hopefully um so yeah really really love it absolutely love it it's beautiful and it is in stock at the moment as well it came back in it's sold out but it's back in um and then the last one is a dead stock viscose and it's called woodstock so there is a another challenge over on instagram at the moment called so 70s and it's been run by blossom sandwich um yvette and hey so georgie and i'm pretty sure yvette is on youtube so i will link her channel down below in case you haven't seen her but I don't know if I'll get a chance to make anything in it for the So 70s challenge. It does run to the end of August, but I just love this fabric. I think probably the fact that it's called Woodstock and I was a bit of a hippie back in my university days. I just, I love it. I love the colors in it too, the greens and the mustard and the rusty sort of color. It's just, it fits in with my palette so well, my color palette. It'll be a dress, I've got three meters, so it will be some sort of dress. I just, I'm not sure what yet. Um yeah i don't know i'm just i don't know i do i have realized recently that i do need to sort of come up with some way of organizing all my patterns because i have so many so so many dress patterns it's just it's a little bit ridiculous now <laughs> um so many patterns for everything tops trousers dresses suits coats the lot and i need a way i need a visual way to organize them all so that i can see what i have um but yeah and i also have all my mom's vintage patterns which i could probably look through and find something in them but yeah i just i absolutely love the colors in this i just think they're lovely um yeah and i love that retro sort of floral style i just think it's great and there's like actually so there's that green and then there's nearly like a sagey slight sagey sort of green there too um but yeah just love it so yeah that is my very nicely coordinating um order um as i said in my last um one of these um fabric unboxing for the rag shop i did buy all these fabrics myself i do get a staff discount so they were um i didn't pay full price for them but um i just i just love talking about fabric <laughs> so um yeah i wanted to share them all with you and i do yeah if you have any ideas for the gingham and for this what patterns you would use please please let me know um what you would what you would make with them and what you would pick for the gingham as well just help me make a wee decision <laughs> um because i do i love them and i don't want them to be sitting in my stash for too long i would like to get them made soon so yeah that is it for me today and um, there's loads of lovely new stock in um online over in the rag shop so definitely go check it out so yeah that's it from me today i hope you have enjoyed this and I will catch up with you all soon. Bye.